And uh, I think we have all the scores in now, Sam, so uh, we can uh, complete the full picture. And let's, just before we look at today's scores, just give a mention to the Isle of Man composite teams that are heading uh, off the island uh, uh, and uh, heading to uh, Chesterfield, I think, and Chester and Fylde and other areas. Uh, they're on the boat this evening, which is not the ideal way to travel ahead of games like this. I believe that, I, that they are on the boat this morning, uh, to this evening, but... Uh... You know what, they're going to go away and enjoy this. Um, the, the island girls under 14, the island boys under 14s and the, the island under 18s who have had some brilliant results and they're going to go with full of confidence. Um, they're going to have a good time going. You know, they're, they've prepared really well and they're really looking forward to it. I speaking to a couple of the under 18s lads, um, some of the Saracens lads, are five of them in, in fact, and they've, they've been looking forward to it for a while now. They did very, very well against Bowden to win 5-0. So you've got to expect them to to go hard this week. And I'm, I'm hoping to see them into the semi-final. Well, the fixtures were changed around, weren't they, today? So that yeah. they, they had plenty of time to have a shower and get changed and pack and get on that boat later. Yeah, all the under-16s games seemed to happen at uh, 11 o'clock this morning, just so they had a bit more time to, to get themselves rested and packed and on the boat this evening. Yep, good luck to them. Let's start then in the Rossborough Men's Hockey Premier League. Saracens have done it again. Valkyries A2, Saracens A2. So that's uh, a draw with Vikings A and now a draw with Valkyries A. They've, yeah. they've turned it round. And you know what? They were disappointed again this week. They thought they, they could have won it. Um, Valkyries A, a little bit depleted this week, but that, that's not taking anything away from Saracens A. They, they dominated the game um, and they walked off the pitch disappointed, but they really shouldn't be. Um, this first half of the season... It was a little bit disappointing for them. They couldn't quite get break through the results they wanted. They had some heavy defeats. But every game you saw progress. You saw them learning lessons of the week before and taking that into their training sessions. And you could see the improvement they'd make week on week. And ever since they drew against Ramsey, um, their first game before the break, they've kicked on again. You know, Drawing with Vikings is no mean feat. Um, even on their worst day, Vikings A are a very good side. And then to draw against a very physical Valkyries A side with some really good players in there um, is a is big, big news mm. for Saracens A. Vikings A4, Ramsey A1. Yeah, Ramsey A uh, have been a bit disappointing, in, especially in this sort of second half of the season, the past sort of two or three games, really. They haven't really been able to kick on. I don't know um, how their training sessions have been going. It's not often I make the trip north to to spy on them or anything. Um, but Vikings say they really needed to recover after last week. They were very, very disappointed. Well, they go top themselves. of the table. They have, yeah. And probably put a little bit of pressure on the backers. Not uh, The backers probably enjoy that, to be fair. But uh, Nathan's, uh, Nathan Evans were two. Tim Henderson and Macklin Wilson uh, with the other two goals. And Ramsey was Thomas Tsitsos. In the Women's Hockey Premier League, Vikings A march on eight out of eight. They won 6-2 against Castletown A. Yeah, and uh, Castletown A, they did have chances, um, but it's been a tale of their season. They haven't, apart from last week, they haven't really been able to to score the goals they need to win games like this. And they've got a really good base and defence, and they are building that each week again in training to, to try and improve week on week. And you've seen that again, like last week when they beat Ramsey A. Vikings A though, uh, three 0 half time. Kim Carney with Kim Carney with two. Sarah Blackman, Daisy Loader, Kirsty Cooper, and Lou Slater. Cast Town A, Zoe Shimon, and Sophie Van Hooven. Uh, Valkyries A have gained a goal and the <laughs> goal advantage this time, but they won seven one against Ramsey A. Yeah, they've gained two, um, so they'll be they'll be pretty pleased with that. They'll level on points. Um, sorry, no, they're two points behind as it stands. They do still have six goals to make up in the meantime but they'll be happy with that they're chipping away at it Christina Kameen on the score sheet for Ramsey A uh, Valkyries A with Sienna Dunn with two Tamsin Cleverly Maxine Smalley Daniela Betteridge Ellen Cleeter and Imogen Manning so a good range of scorers there it was indeed uh, Saracens A2 backers A4 I think Saracens were two up in this game they were half time 2-0 to Saracens A and they, and Again, this is another side that are improving. They're not quite the same rate as their first team, but you can see week on week the tiny improvements they're making. The massive step up from the Division 1 um, into the Premier League is huge, and it's tough to do. Um, but Saracens, uh, again, improving week in, week out. 2-0 at half-time. Krista Quilliam and Dulcie Tier for Saracens A. Second half, though, back as they showed their experience. Sinead Cox, Hope Goff, Leah Goddard and Bobby Hempsall on the score sheet for back as A to take the win. 
Rossborough men's hockey division one and uh, the leaders march on. Backers B6, Valkyries B0. And I just had a feeling this might be the one that they might have a banana skin with. Yeah, and the, the story I've heard from the from the backers guys is that Valkyries B had chances. Um, they, they had a fair few chances. Gareth Nicholson, no, um, backers goalkeeper, had an extraordinary game making five stunning saves. Um, Matt Greenbank also clearing a couple off the line for backers. Chris Thomas of Valkyries just couldn't quite get the finish he needed uh, to, to keep Valkyries in the game. Uh, Sean Cole up with two. Will Wood, Shea Christian, Elliot Reed, and Toby Hudson on the score sheet for a very strong backers B side. Yeah, it's a good performance. Uh, Castletown A1, Harlequins A3. Yeah, and it puts Castletown Men's A in uh, a bit of trouble. They have just, just stepped out of the the relegation zone by one goal on goal difference uh, following other results. Christian Stereopolis on uh, the score sheet for Castan A. Harlequins A, though, remain Backers B's closest challenges and it'll be an interesting return fixture between Backers and Harlequins. Double Dom Hubble with two and Ross Arnold with the other one. And it was Vikings B5, Vikings C1 in the uh, <laughs> black and white derby. Yeah, it was a bit of an odd one, um, really. The each side only had one sub to start um, and then Andy Harding uh, who was an absolute hero today to be fair to him um, took a, a nick on the head um, from one of the Viking Sea Sticks just a complete accident there was nothing in it um, but it caused a caused a bit of a, a blood injury um, so he came off um, but Vikings B they didn't dominate by any stretch of the imagination the young lads in that Viking Sea team were really really good and attacked at every opportunity Ash Dougal with four and then in the second half, Andy Harding, once he'd cleaned himself up, changed his shirt, climbed back onto the pitch and put a goal away for Vikings B. And Braden Masterton with by far and away the goal of the game, dancing in and around the D past the Vikings B defence for Vikings C. And uh, who was man of the match? We won't talk about that. No, we will. It was you <laughs> and a text sent in by Sam Spooner. No, it wasn't. Uh, women's Hockey Division 1, backers B1, Castletown B1. Yeah, and the, I always said this was going to be a close, close game. Backers B really needed the win, and um, they are in the relegation zone, but this result does keep it in their hands. Uh, as long as they can sort of pull a point or two from elsewhere, um, they're well ahead of back Castown B on goal difference. Um, so they've, they've, they've given themselves a really good chance here. I haven't got the backers B goal scorer yet, but it was a late kickoff. Uh, Castown B's goal scorer was Holly Greenwood. And it was, was... Oh, right. Sorry. It was uh, a rising star. Excellent. Uh, Valkyries B4, Vikings B0. Yeah, Vi Valkyries B uh, being extraordinary this season. Still yet to concede a goal, uh, which is just stunning wow. work. <laughs> Uh, Andrea Lace, Florence Barber, Lisa Pugh and Karen Reed on the score sheet for Valkyries B. Vikings B, uh, it could have been worse for them today, but Jess Tarpey clearing again four shots off the line. She's making a habit of that. Let's move to the men's hockey division two. Harlequins B1, Ramsey B6. Yeah, Ramsey B go top of the league. Um, on goal difference, it's very, very tight. Uh, Ramsey men's B and Saracens men's B scored 27. Conceded 8. Both have a goal difference of nine to plus 19, mm. both on 10 points. So it's alphabetical order at the minute. Um, <laughs> so there's nothing between them. Um, and Ramsey B, after Saracens B had their 5-0 walkover given to them, needed to, to win by five goals. And they did that. Harlequins B goal scorer is Jasper Davies. But Ramsey B, Alex Sherman, sorry, Alex Shimon with three goals, Dan Stevenson, Thomas Hurd and Richard Spate keeping Ramsey B's title challenge alive. Unfortunately, uh, Valkyrie C couldn't field a team, so Saracens B get a walk over 5-0 in that other game. Uh, Rossborough Women's Hockey Division 2, Backers C5, Saracens B1. Yeah, and Backers C are remaining, uh, remaining in there in a the title challenge. Um, Carly Craig with three, Kirsty McConnell and Martha Broderick on the score sheet for Backers C. Uh, Saracens B, Rebecca Snell on the score sheet. Backers C, still level at the top of the league uh, on points, but a, a massive, massive goal, in, uh, goal difference. So they're going to have to beat Vikings C. They are. And the final game uh, result was Ramsey B nil, Vikings C 6. Yeah, and this was... Uh, I always expected Vikings C to win this one. Um, it was just a matter of by how much. Um, Tamsin Naylor with another three goals this week. She has to be knocking on the door of that Vikings B team now because she's been stunning for the Seas all season. And the same with Becca Kelly, to be fair, as well. She scored another two goals this week. So she's getting goal happy again this season. And Kaylee Cool with a smartly taken finish as well. 
OK, uh, aching a bit today then, a longer game than you're expecting, yeah? Yeah, a little bit. Um, a little bit of a trip in the second half probably didn't help me either, Oops. but might have, might have tried to do the splits at some point. But yeah, it's one of those, it's uh, it's good playing with those young lads because you don't have to do too much running. And uh, yeah, it's, it's good seeing those young lads grow. Sam, many thanks indeed.